Happy almost 2021. It has been a wild, wild year, and I am here with you. My name is Kim Masao. I'm the owner and founder of Brave Embodiment Counseling, and I am here today to guide you through a New Year's uh, meditation and intention setting ritual. Um, if you've been following our process, you've already got some intentions ready to go, and uh, you have an idea of what you want for 2021. If you haven't done that, that's totally fine. You can still follow along. Um, I encourage you to have a pen and paper and um, a stone or a ritual item, a sacred item with you that you can set your intention in for the year. Um, this item you'll keep close by with you for the rest of the year. It will be something that you look at every day to help you set an intention, um, set your energy f on a daily basis for the year. Um, so for this, this meditation, um, you're going to get comfortable. So you can pause this if you want. Find yourself a, p a comfortable position. That's um, If you're going to fall asleep, don't lay down, but you can, you can sit or lay, whatever is comfortable. And I'm going to guide through, you through a meditation and then we'll um, have a little ritual at the end so that you can uh, set your intention and have it close to your heart throughout the year. So once you're comfortable, you can begin to close your eyes. And just deepening into your breath, not forcing any change to your breath, but just naturally allowing your breath to open up a little bit, your lungs to open up. And you can follow your breath in and out. Just bring your attention to the air coming into your body and moving out. And with each exhale, you'll relax your body and soften just a little bit more. If your eyes aren't closed yet, go ahead and close them now. If anything comes up and distracts you, that's okay. Just notice it and then come back to my voice. Come back to your body. So many of us are in our thoughts and really struggle to slow down and be in our bodies. So if this is hard for you, don't worry. You can practice. You can watch this video as many times as you want or find other meditations to help you slow down. So noticing your breath is so good to be in your body to slow down. Letting your energy and your focus begin to notice your feet and the earth beneath you. You start to imagine that your body begins to grow roots from your feet into the earth. And your roots grow deep, deep into the earth. Connecting at the center of the earth to Mother Earth, whatever form she takes today. And when you make that connection, your body begins to relax and soften into her loving hold. Your body can just yield and be supported by Mother Earth. And your roots begin to move past Mother Earth back into the earth and connecting with all the living creatures on the planet. Connecting with all the animals, all the plants, all the people. And you can see just how big this planet is. How you are equal in love and attention to every other living creature on this planet. You're special and unique, and you're equally worthy. And you can feel the connection and the energy flow through your roots, through all the living creatures. And then you begin to feel the soft, gentle pressure of gravity on your body as the universe holds you down to connect with the earth like a soft hug between earth and the universe, gravity, the energy flowing through all the living creatures, 
from the heavens back down into your body. And then you notice yourself imagining standing in a beautiful field. There's lavender and beautiful flowers. The sun is soft and warm. It's the perfect temperature. You can feel the breeze gently blowing through your hair. And you notice in your hand there are seeds. And these seeds represent how you want to live your life in 2021 and perhaps beyond. So you gently pick up one seed at a time and with all the love in your heart, all the connection between all the other living creatures and the heavens, all of your spirit guides, you softly put that seed into the earth, digging a small hole and dropping each seed into the earth. And as you place each seed in, you say the intention out loud so that everybody and all of your spirit guides can hear. Your spirit guides, Mother Earth, whoever your higher power is or powers, let you know that they're supporting you in this intention, that you're not in it alone. They're always there with you. And you may even like to invite ancestors in. You may not. You can choose who you want there, if anybody, in presence or in spirit, to support you as you set these intentions. You cover each of the seeds with the soil and water it gently. And then from your heart, you send loving energy into the seeds, nourishing them, knowing that you'll be tending to these seeds throughout the year and they'll be growing and with their growth you can imagine and know that your heart will open more and more as the year goes on and you can begin to feel that opening already. So just noticing that opening you stand up and open your heart space in your mind's eye, feeling the spaciousness and the freedom, the love and compassion exuding from your heart space, moving all throughout the space around you and feeling that energetic flow again with Mother Earth, with all the living creatures on the planet with the heavens, with the universe. You take in this feeling and with it, one word comes up in your mind as representing the intentions and the energy you're feeling now. And you take that word and seal it in your heart, hold it in your hands. Now, at this time, you may like to continue your meditation. So you may like to pause this recording so that you can do what you need to to complete this meditation. If you feel you're done, you can take time to notice how you're feeling in your body. Take a little snapshot. And then turn and thank all of your spirit guides, all of the living creatures on the planet, Mother Earth, the universe, yourself, sending loving compassion to yourself for showing up today. And then slowly take your time to come out of the meditation. You slowly come back and reorient yourself to the space. And then you'll pick up your sacred item. 
you might like to go ahead and seal that word into your sacred item, but you're also going to be writing down on a piece of paper your intention. And you can do a few things for your moon ritual. You can take your piece of paper and write down your intention or what you'd like to release and call in for the new year. And you can burn that piece of paper under the moon. Or if you'd like, you can buy some seeds and actually plant some seeds, some special seeds. You can plant them in a planter. You can plant them outside. You can plant their, them into one of those little um, starter cups. Whatever feels good for you. You might like to do something inside since it's winter time. And what you'll do is you'll go out under the moon. You will blow your intention into your sacred item. So you'll say your word and any intentions that you'll have out loud under the moon. And you can blow that intention into your sacred item just like that. And then you'll, if you want to plant seeds or you want to plant your intention in the ground or you want to burn whatever you're letting go of, whatever else you'd like to add into the ritual, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and if you have your seeds, you can bring them inside, of course, afterwards and tend to them. But with your sacred item, you want to put that somewhere special that you'll see every day so that it reminds you of your commitment, of your intention. And at that, this point, I want you to write out your ritual that you're going to do and jot down any thoughts, anything that's important about your experience with the meditation today because this is the kind of energy that you want to bring to every day of your life. Um, it's really important that you consider your energy. Energy is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So when you are in the energy that you want for yourself, uh, when you're wanting to call in a certain energy, you have to show up at that energy, right? So write down what it feels like in your body. It's important to embody the energy that you want. Many of us get stuck in heaviness, get stuck in um, anxiety, and you can actually just switch your body state in any given moment if you choose to. Of course, there are times when it is really hard to change our body state and that is when we are struggling with unresolved trauma in our psyche and in our body. If that is happening for you and it's difficult for you to change your state, you can't just make that choice in the moment, then it is time to reach out for support. We at Brave Counseling, uh, we work with clients when they are struggling to release whatever is limiting them or keeping them from their potential so feel free to reach out we'll get you in touch with the right counselor or the right type of healer you might like to try a um, energy healer or body healer uh, we're happy to connect you that is our work that is our passion that's our vision um, so reach out anytime you can just send a quick email to info at bravecounseling.com and of course if you know anybody in your life that might benefit from this work please send them our direction. Um, I hope that you will keep your attention close to your heart throughout the new year. And uh, you have an amazing New Year's Eve, uh, a great ritual, and we look forward to connecting with you and hearing about your process in the new year. Feel free to follow us on Instagram or Facebook and tell us all about your ritual and your experience and what your intention is that you're calling in. For the new year, our uh, our name is at Brave Counseling on Facebook and Instagram, and we look forward to connecting with you. Happy New Year!